A very warm welcome to PC Instruments Germany. My name is Martin Dietz and today I will present to you the thickness gauge PC CT 27FN. Our thickness gauge PC CT 27FN is suitable for the measuring of material pieces of iron and non-iron materials. In a delivery we find a transport case, the thickness gauge, we find also the probe for iron and non-iron metals, we also have the, the battery pack, we also have a set of measuring standards, and also a calibration set of iron and non-iron metals. With the PC CT 27FN are the user manuals delivered with it in German and English language. In the designation of the device we find the letters F slash N this means as well as for ferritic metals as well as for non-ferrite metals. The advantages of this device is that it is ready to measure straight away. As soon as I have put the batteries in, four in all, and connected the measuring probe, now the device is immediately ready to use after turning on naturally. The measuring probe has a practical tip so that you can measure special roundings like pipes or shafts. The measuring area goes from north to 1250 mu. Choicely, I can choose the value mil. In a delivery there is also a set of calibration standards, different thicknesses of all together from 50 to 1029 mu to do the calibrations for iron and non-iron metals. We have by the PC CT 27FN a resolution from 0.1 mu or 0.1 mil with an exactness of plus minus 2% plus 2 mu or plus minus 2% plus 0.1 mil. The device works in an environment from minus 10 to plus 50 degrees. As said, the voltage supply is with four 1.5 volt batteries. Now I will show you measurements on iron and non-iron materials. Before using the device for the first time, the device must be calibrated. For this we used the delivered calibration standards for iron and non-iron. The device is turned on. I choose on the operating panel the button CAL and delete first the memory of the device. With the reset button, then press clear. The memory is now empty. Then I choose the north point calibration. We start with the calibration of the north point on the calibration standard. Ferrite metals, putting the measuring probe onto it. Press firmly down and can see that the measured value is naught. Then we repeat this on the non-iron standard. Here also you can see the value naught. 
We repeat this often. The device changes automatically or recognizes automatically iron and non-iron metals. Also we have, after turning the device on, the possibility the measuring mode single or multiple measurements to alter. This I can use the menu function, select accordingly. Set is now the single measuring. On the standard, no point no mu is shown. The same I can see on the non-iron standard, no point no mu. Especially important when putting the measuring probe onto the measuring point is that it is in a 90 degrees angle. Without trembling or wobbling, and the guidance sleeve is softly put down and held still and straight. So that's After we have prepared the device with a multiple calibration, we now do a measurement. We accept that this proof foil, our material is, that we want to test. This proof foil has a value of 495 mu. We put the measuring probe onto it in a 90 degrees angle. Moving the guidance sleeve over the foil. And read the value. We have a value here of 505 mu. That is in the tolerance. But to get a proper middle value, we have to do this measurement often. Here you can now see 492. We do the measurement again. 497. We remember that the proof foil was 495 strong. The measured values are inside the device tolerance. By doing further measuring, we will come closer to this value and more align. Further technical data as well as optional accessories you can find at www.pc-instruments.com.